Well, it's storm season here in Oklahoma, and we got to get ready. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance, I wanna welcome you to our channel. And as you can see, we are inside of our storm shelter here on the Rock and Sea Homestead. We are in central Oklahoma. We have the potential during storm season, which is, you know, April, May, June, really the, the big time. And uh, we have some huge potential for huge storms, big tornadoes, and we live in a manufacturer home. So having a storm shelter is top priority for us and it this actually this one was installed before we even moved out onto the property because the property didn't even have one when we bought the property it may not be the only one but this is the one we have right now that that that, that, that we're going to show you so this is what they call a below ground and they also have a different below ground like if you have a regular framed house and you have a garage you can get one that's actually inside of that right there in the garage. You can step down into it and it's flat. You can drive your car over it. This isn't one of those. This is one of those ones that they put in the yard. For us, this is a little bigger and some of those other ones are really narrow. This is the one we like the best. So let's come in here and take a look. So now we're inside of the storm shelter. This is a, a concrete uh, shelter. It actually comes in two pieces. So this bottom piece, they, they put in and then they put the top piece on and they have to kind of glue it in and glue it and do all kinds of fun stuff to it. But it's actually a two piece. Uh, it's six feet by eight feet. And as you can hear that it's very uh, loud in here. And um, this is what we got. And um, so far it's actually done really well for us. Um, no leaks, any of those type of um, issues with it. Um, I think the only thing that we're gonna have to probably work on is some of the screening material that's up in here that blocks the, the vent and the little swirly bird up here to get ventilation. Uh, looks like we're able to get a little bit of uh, insects in here. So we gotta probably work on that as the season goes along. But again, great storm shelter. And for us, it worked really, really well. But with other, um, with life, things change. And, uh, and for us, uh, we saw a different path going forward on, on trying to keep us and our family safe. So as I was saying, there's been, there was a few things that like changed within our lives that, that made us want to look and see what other kind of options there was other than those ones that you have to crawl down into a hole for. Um, for us, one of them was we were, we have some big dogs and they're getting older and trying to get them down in that hole during a storm was nightmarish. It was terrible. Uh, it was hard to get them in and out, especially the one that's kind of older and bigger than the rest. And it was just a struggle. And then last year, right before storm season, I had to have hip surgery. And so during my recovery was kind of right in the middle of storm season. And we didn't think that trying to get dogs in there and plus me down there as well, uh, it just wasn't going to work out for us. So we we're able to kind of save up some money and get us a different step of uh, storm shelter. All right, so here's our one that's, that's inside of our barn. Uh, it's a six by eight again, I do believe, or maybe four by six, something like that. It's a little bit smaller than the one outside, but the great thing about this, as you can tell, you can just walk in and out of it. And then once you're in there, you can just lock everything down. Uh, super solid. Uh, it's made out of steel, has some ventilation up here, then right here when it gets closed. We usually uh, position a fan somewhere over here close if we ever, ever get in here. So it kind of blows more air. It gets a little stuffy in there, especially usually during those uh, big storms. It's kind of hot and humid on those days anyways. But So w one of the requirements that the uh, manufacturer that actually came out, manufactured and came out and installed this, uh, we had to think about was our uh, concrete actually strong enough to, to be able to bolt this onto it and make it certifiable and all those kind of things that they have to do with these storm shelters. And thank goodness ours was, I think it has to be like four or five inches thick, maybe six inches, something like that. And um, 
we had a guy come out, he looked at the space that we wanted to put it at, did some minor tests and said, yeah, you guys are great. We're ready to go. And then it took about a couple weeks. They actually built it and then came out and installed it within, I don't know, maybe three hours. All right. So, but I do want to let you guys know that we're just not frivolous here. We just don't uh, have one. We use that and the other one goes to waste. Uh, every chance there's a time that there's a storm in this area. Our kids know that it's available. Their friends know it's available. So there's been many times we've had our, our, our children, their friends, their animals in that shelter. Usually Marcy and myself and the dogs are in here. Maybe if we have some baby goats, I could see her bringing them in here, maybe, or they're in there with the, with the kids. So uh, they are definitely being used. It's just easier for us, especially as we get older, to be able just to walk in and out and not have to worry about crawling into a hole. So as storm season starts start to approach, there's a couple things that we like to do. Number one, with all the projects we had with the barn dominium, and if you guys haven't seen our little barn dominium that we made for our goats, uh, I'll put a, a tag right up here. Make sure you guys go check out that video. It's super awesome. And um, But we had a, a bunch of crap right here in this way, and we've had to kind of rearrange some stuff in the, in the barn to kind of help with that. So just so we could get into this area because we had it blocked. But once you get in here, and the same thing with the one outside, is you have to make sure that it's nice and clean. Uh, it's not retaining water. You know, there's no spiders, there's no snakes, whatever else there may be. Um, just need to come in here and make sure that it's nice and clean. Um, and these are ready to go. So if you need to get some chairs, bring in some chairs. And um, we're actually gonna build some benches in here um, because with, with Mars and myself and our four dogs, it's pretty tight. And uh, we got a couple chairs that are just huge. So we're thinking of building a couple benches, making it nice and easy so the dogs kind of get up underneath them and we're above them. And uh, hopefully that will help out with that. But uh, a couple other things that you may want to consider, you know, put in your storm shelter. In your storm shelter. So back in the day, uh, you know, we used to have like a like a like a folder that had all of our a copy of like our important documents, like our mortgage and and our uh, insurance paperwork and all that other kind of stuff. Now nowadays, most of that stuff is online, and we just don't think we need it because it's all on our. Um, you know, it's you know we can access through our mobile device. We have laptops. It's all in the cloud. We can just access it from any computer. Uh, so with that being said, you know, make sure, you know, at least here in, in the part of the country where we live, we have really good weather, uh, weather people that are very good at predicting big time thunderstorms and those kind of things here in central Oklahoma. So we know when there's a big, big day. So on those days, make sure that your, you know, all your, your, like your chargers are ready and your, and your devices are charged up and you got everything ready to prep in case you got to make a run out here. Um, you know, uh, make sure that if you, uh, you know, one thing that we've learned is uh, not only do you clean it up at the first of storm season, you clean it up at the end of storm season. So you get all the chairs, you get all the, you know, sometimes we're going in and out up through here uh, and it's muddy because it's been raining and those kind of things. You get mud and junk all through here. It's just good to get all that cleaned out so um, you're not dealing with that, that kind of stuff. Plus, you know, um, food, drinks, whatever think that you, uh, whatever you think that you may want uh, for maybe, maybe a couple hours. And then you potentially have to think about if this building comes, collapses, and I can't get out of here, how long is it gonna take them to come get me out? Because all of these storm shelters are registered with, uh, with the local fire departments. And so if there's a storm and huge damage in your area, they know where all those are and they'll come start searching and see if uh, anybody's in there. So uh, you have to kind of think of that. So we usually keep some granola bars, those kind of things, water, you know, and just keep it in there. Just make sure that you don't keep it in there too long and you, uh, you know, take it out every year. Uh, a couple other things, you know, first aid kit is a real big plus. And one of the things that we don't have in here yet, uh, but we have it in our other shelter is a little porta potty. You know, depending on how long you're gonna be in there, it's always good to have a little porta potty. Ours is a little five gallon bucket with a little uh, cushion for the ring and a little lid. You're good to go. And, uh, you know, for us, it's just family. 
and uh, that's just how we do. Uh, another thing is lights. So this is just a magnetic light that uh, actually somehow ended up here on my tractor from a repair stop. And uh, that's what we use in there. And it's bright enough. When you shut the door, it's good enough. And usually uh, we, you get a little, little bit of light. We usually leave the lights on in the barn. So they come through these little openings. You get a little bit of light, but. So she's almost ready. We just have to get some water and some other stuff to put in there. Uh, like I said, hopefully we'll be able to build those benches before we get a storm. If not, we got some chairs right over there we can bring in there and uh, we'd be good to go. But guys, thanks for coming along on our journey. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified every time we put out a video. And if you haven't seen us on Facebook or Instagram, those links are down below. And from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.